Lord Saranoa. Even so, I need time. I must remain calm. Certainly. I need time. Listen, lad.
Lord Saranoa. Certainly. I need time. Listen, lad. You're onto something. It is we have three options before us. Return to the Wolfort Domain. Approach the scales of conviction. You have my vote. You won me over. Way forward is decided. We march to the Rosellan village and drive the bandits from the surrounding. I shall accompany Frederica to defend the Rosellan village. I know not what the bandits are after, but I cannot allow them to run rampant over the land. Thank you, Saranoa. I am heartened to have you by my side. Very well. Fulfill your duty to your domain. I shall see to things in the capital. Then I shall venture to the Wolford domain and make our report to Lord Simon in your stead. Then this is farewell for now. King Roland, Benedict, until our reunion in the capital. Here we are, the Rosellan Village. Right, just where that book we swiped from the archives pointed us. Ooh, you catch a whiff of that? Smells like treasure to me. Calling this hovel a village does a disservice to villages. We'll find that fortune soon enough. Hold it, Trish. Maybe we'd best leave this treasure be. Having second thoughts, Pa? Knees buckling at the thought of a little bloodshed? Now just shut up and use your head for a bit, girl. You know the story of this village as well as I, how they fled from the cruelty of Hyzant. Seems to me we have more than a bit in common with these folk. I don't wish to cause them any more suffering than is necessary. You're getting soft in your old age, Pa. All right, have it your way. We'll give him a little scare, grab the treasure, and be on our way. Ah, but there's one more. Ah, my damn back is still acting up. Not enough rest since the last job. Might be even worse than last time, as a matter of fact. Did you 
go to sleep and wake up an old crone. Put your weapon in your hand and get moving! The likes of us only get one chance to grab fate by the horns. And this is ours! Wasn't it you who taught us to take what we can because the world ain't in the habit of giving? I know, but... but I... You know what? I don't want to hear your bleating. Go rest if you need it, because I don't need you. Me and the boys will handle the treasure hunting. Wait, Trish! Agah! Wait, Trish! Agah! Damn, back! The members of House Wolfort, having earned momentary respite after reclaiming the capital, decide to go their own ways. Roland remains in the capital to deal with his political opponents. Benedict returns to Castle Wolfort to visit the ailing Lord Seymour. Sarah Noah and Frederica, having received reports from Jerome of bandits in the Rosellan village, depart to investigate. Lord Saranoa, Lady Frederica. Glenbrook is as prosperous as it ever was. And I hear we have you two to thank for it. Glenbrook owes its return to prosperity to many, Jerome. I only hope this marks the beginning of a journey toward peace. As do I. So, what brings you to our humble village this day? We've received word that you've been having trouble with bandits. And you came all... You're under the protection. We've received word that you've been- And you came all the way here personally? Truly, I am moved. Captain of House Wolfort. I'm only doing my duty. Of course. As a matter of fact, we have sighted bandits skulking about in the woods. Fortunately, they seem to be content with that. I'm glad no one has come to harm. For now, my lady. Doubtless, they are probing our defenses for weaknesses. Although they have yet to bear their fangs, I feel their gaze on my back from time to time. Bandits aren't known for planning ahead, but there's a first time for everything. I suggest we look into this, my lord. I agree. If indeed there are bandits lurking about, we should flush them out or drive them away. That would be much appreciated, my lord. We've sent out our own search parties, but with you by our side, the work will go all the quicker. However, I understand your recent days have been filled with strife, and you've journeyed far. Allow us one night to treat your arrival with the pomp it deserves. Thank you, Jerome. I would welcome a night free from worry. Then we shall prepare a feast. I look forward to hearing stories of your heroic exploits. I've got a few of those. All it'll cost you is a few drafts of ale.
The villagers seem to be in high spirits. I hope the bandits have been scared off for good. As do I. It was surprising to see that despite everything, the lives of most haven't changed a bit. I cannot help but wonder what drew their attention in the first place, however. You don't think it had something to do with the salt crystals, do you? How would they know? Haizan protects that information more fiercely than the goddess herself. Hmm. Then, perhaps in their desperation, they've stooped to capturing and selling the Roselle to Hyzant. No. I won't allow the wickedness of House Tellior to run rampant again. It was only a thought, my lady. We know nothing for certain. Indeed, and it will serve us not to conjecture endlessly. We need to flush these bandits out and hear it from their own mouths. Aye, but even bandits value their own lives. They won't do anything rash, so long as the odds are against them. Lord Saranoa! Bandits! They're everywhere! What? Suppose these ones aren't the sharpest tools in the forge. We must hurry. 